Yo, interwebs, what's really good? It's your boy Free. You are tuned into another episode of the Blurs in the Trap podcast. Um, as we talk about nerd culture from our perspective for the people. Um, as always, I'm joined by uh my co-hosting good friend of mine, Dr. Jones. Dr. Jones, talk to the people. What's good? You know what it is, Dr. Doomsday, the double XL professor. Professor X, the dean of the Xavier School. You know what I'm saying? We out here. Uh, what else? Uh, oh, yeah. Dr. Bank McCoy, as always. Always a good one. <laughs> uh, Indubitably. Just happy to be here. <laughs> happy um, to be here. Oh, shit. I didn't even introduce myself. It's, it's free. Um, <laughs> AKA Free, Lum- free Luminati, AKA Young Freezer Burner, AKA uh, Nutella Jokic. That one's sticking. I'm, I'm keeping that one. AKA Roberto. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's me, your father, Roberto. I seen you on the ESPN. <laughs> I said that shit to my and, daughter the other day. She ain't, she was like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> <laughs> uh, and as and that voice you hear is the illustrious producer Lowe, the, the 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 ruler over the Inaudible Ruckus podcast network. The ruler. The mastermind. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, y'all. It's, it's Ski, aka Getty Green Gross, Giggity Getty Green Gross, aka Pod Lord Infamous, aka Dog Walker Texas Ranger, aka the Cartier <laughs> Cowboy. <laughs> Dog Walker Texas Ranger, I like that one. I, I, I found it. I found the page after I was all yeah, <laughs> with it, man. Hey, we're supposed to freestyle it. We're not doing it's, it's, no. It's, until next time. We supposed to freestyle. We ain't doing no written over here. Okay, cannabis. <laughs> yeah, who <laughs> this man? Man, I, I I lost my BlackBerry. Man, sheesh. Like, give me a break. <laughs> oh, that's a deep if cut. You, if you lost before you lost your BlackBerry. <laughs> you lost just by engaging. Right. Yeah. Well, shit, man. Let Let's get into it because we had some some news drop recently. Uh, number one is something I'm very very happy about. Um, shout out to Smiles because he put this in the Anata Bros group chat. But according to an article from Variety, Disney is suing Instagram to get them to reveal the identity of an account on their platform that has been leaking set photos from the upcoming Captain America sequel, Brave New World. Um, so um, I believe there's been repeated leaks. They guessed that because at first I believe the title is supposed to be Captain America. Um, Damn, what was it? It had, this isn't the original title. It was the title before because I forget what Captain it was. Captain America's a bitch. You know? uh, I mean, it could have been that. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I, was, I would, I would to think about. Sam I would never that, forgive that. him for, from Civil War. So, like, yeah, yeah. Brand, brand we gotta, we gotta, we gotta remember. We gotta remember. This isn't uh, uh, Steve Rogers anymore. Oh, this Sam is Falcon. Wilson, he's Cap now. It's Falcon. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, never mind. My bad. Brave, my bad. Brave, Brave New World wasn't the original title. No, no, it was. There was something before that. It was called Black uh, New World. <laughs> it's called I'm Black, y'all. Hey, Black it's America. Nigga, Black. It's, it's called Head Nigga in Charge. Captain America. Head nigga in charge. <laughs> right, where my <laughs> shit? I, I would go see that movie. Facts. I, I would be there at midnight on Thursday. <laughs> <to go see. laughs> where, midnight where, show where's my Thursday. shield at? God damn it! Nobody... <laughs> right, right. Uh, so about picking up my damn shield, breaking right. down uh, weed on his shield before he goes. <laughs> right. So they, they never gave this nigga a shield. <laughs> uh, so, uh, so I believe, like, I, I'm sure we've all seen, like, there's been multiple set leaks. 
multiple, you know, plot leaks, you know, things like that. And I think Marvel, and I'm happy about this, Marvel's finally be like, you know what, I'm tired of this shit. We getting these niggas out the paint. And I hope they do get them all out the paint. So I will never forgive these leakers for ruining Spider-Man No Way Home by fucking leaking all the cameos, the whole damn plot, all this shit. Like, goddamn, can I just watch the movie? Yeah. I don't need to know all this so, so six no, months beforehand. That's that's what I was going to ask. So what exactly? I, I understand set pictures and stuff, right? That usually happens anyway for people to be like, "Oh my god, yeah, yeah, first look." Just, that's all movies, not just comic book movies. So, yeah. so, so you're saying that they like are giving up all the the secret stuff that you're supposed to wait to be surprised on and all of that. I wouldn't say going that far. It's just like they're showing like leaks, like the one leak that showed that Captain America has a new suit. One showed Harrison Ford, who's taking on the role of Thunderbolt Ross, Thaddeus mm-hmm. Thunderbolt Ross, who was played by William Hort Hurt in previous Marvel movies, RIP to William Hurt. Gotcha. Um, so just stuff like that. It's just stuff like, it, but they it's don't been, want it's people to see, like, there's so, not even a trailer out. The movie doesn't come out till February. So it's been happening so often. A trailer. Yeah. Like, I, you know, they, they did that with uh, uh, Deadpool and Wolverine, the, uh, right, that right. movie. Like they, they right. revealed the, the yellow sh- uh, suit way before there was ever a trailer uh and it's sort of just like i i, I want to be able and, and, and this is almost like you know it's it's part and parcel of like the culture of you know releasing stuff about movies people are releasing so much about the plot you know they're they're releasing you know uh parts of scripts they're uh releasing pictures it's bad enough that when you watch the trailer you know watch one or two of these trailers they reveal in half of the movie but you know the addition of all of this, these extra stuff, and then all these people that post with no spoilers. No one cares about giving people a little warning, um, which is, you know, very respectful yeah, to give yeah, me a warning yeah, if you're yeah. going to spoil something. Like, give me the choice of whether or not I want to see it or not. For some films, I'm like, ah, I don't care. I, you know, I'll see it. I'll support it regardless. Or I won't support that, so I don't care. I just want to know what's going on. But, like, if I actually want to be surprised and actually enjoy the movie or enjoy that first moment. Like, those moments don't hit as much anymore. And I think, hey, like, I'll even credit this with with some of the reasons why people are not as excited about, you know, certain types of movies anymore because because of all these these spoilers that that get dropped all the time. Yeah. And this movie already has a lot working for it, working against it. It's gotten pushed back. It's going through reshoots. People are kind of eye-rolling the fact that it's Sam Wilson and not Steve Rogers. It's a black superhero. Um, so, you know, Falcon and the Winter Soldier wasn't that well received. So there's things going against this movie already. And I don't, I just don't think this helps. Another thing going against it, which is funny to me, because I found this out just being a dad, McDonald's is doing a pretty good job spoiling this movie too. <laughs> <laughs> what McDonald's got to do with this? Ronald yeah. McDonald up there acting a fool? No, the, they, the Happy Meal promotion right now is for this upcoming Captain America movie, which again, does not come out until February. So I think Damn. because it was initially supposed to come out this summer, I think it was supposed to come out McDonald's in McDonald's didn't get the memo? Uh, I guess not. Or they're just like, fuck it, we're not going to push this back. We're just going to... So it has a very massive spoiler that I won't really share on. Should I share it on here, Aaron? Because you read the comics, you know what I'm talking about. About Ross? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I don't know. You know, what, okay, spoil, spoiler give alert. Give people the spoiler warning. Alert. If you're going to do spoiler, it, give people the warning. That's spoiler all I alert. If you don't want to know, fast forward about 15, 30 seconds. So skip, one of the spoilers, skip. one of the things, one of the Happy Meal toys associated with this campaign is Red Hulk. And Red Hulk is Thunderbolt Ross. He becomes Red Hulk in the comics. So I'm guessing he's going to be Red Hulk in the movie, which is actually hilarious to me. Because Harrison Ford is going to turn into a CGI Hulk character. You know how much Harrison Ford don't give a fuck about none of this. I mean, if Mike shit, Ruffalo so. could do it, I mean, come on. Yeah, yeah, but Mark Ruffalo actually cares. Harrison Ford did, does not care. <laughs> did y'all see this? Okay, so one quick aside. Did y'all see this last uh, Indiana Jones movie? No. No, do not care about Indiana Jones. And it looked so, bad and it got even worse reviews. I'll, I'll say this. <laughs> I will say this. I watched that movie. I enjoyed elements of that movie, uh, but I have to suspend so much disbelief. The nigga's like seventy-five this, years old. 
that this 70 plus this 75 this 78 year old man is running around and escaping people and getting shot at and dodging bullets hey. i cannot believe that jones I cannot. I jones not. you just gave the plot line for mission impossible 7000 <laughs> it's just gonna be tom at cruise at least tom cruise is what 50 60 like he's still and he's in good shape like he, he do a man okay like give, all his give him sense. 20 more years <laughs> Okay, oh, like it's true. It's there, there will be a time. They probably would do twenty more years worth. This We're movie. gonna see it. We yeah, will be around right. to see it. Little you're right. Little. I was you're watching right. the new one. I fell asleep halfway through because I was sick and took some medicine yeah, and same, fell asleep. But that, shit, that shit was fire. From it what ended I saw. on a cliffhanger though. It, though. it ended on a cliffhanger. That's what made me mad. Right, right. I'm, I'm gonna pick it back up again because that shit was fire from it's what all, I watched. They but always fire. I can just tell. Jones, I can just tell watching that trailer like this man does not care about this at all. He's just cashing nah. that check. Yep. He got he got he got grandkids and probably great grandkids that he buying right. uh, sweaters for and shit. So he got to right. uh, keep it going. I knew when he was doing those press runs for Star Wars that I'm like, man, he actually does not care about this anymore. Maybe he never did, but he definitely don't care about it now. I don't I don't think he ever did. But yeah, so. <laughs> Disney dealing with spoilers from fans, for spoilers from McDonald's. So I hope this movie does well because it has a lot going for it. I'm going to be going to see it. They're dropping it in February, so it's Black History Month. So they're trying to capitalize off of that. Um, but but I don't know. Like I said, and, and not only the outside factor, they had but to, the they inside. Had to deal with, uh, they had to deal with spoilers from Tom Holland. They had to give him a Wrangler because he was right. giving out spoilers himself. He didn't give a fuck. That's, what he tried, right. that's, that's a man trying to get out of there. That's what that is. Right, right. But but he just confirmed he's gonna do Spider Man four whenever they do it. He so better. They they knocked on yeah. his door and said, Tom, shut the fuck up yeah. and put that suit right. back on. <laughs> right. So um, <laughs> that ain't the only leak that's gonna happen. We're gonna leak your shit if you, <laughs> you leak your nose. <laughs> right. Right. Bust your, your nose up. Be nigga. On the pavement. <laughs> but Yo, your uh, spidey <laughs> senses didn't catch that, did it? Huh? Bitch ass nigga. Uh, Another issue with this cat movie is the director and writer. So the director directed the Cloverfield Paradox. If y'all don't remember, oh. that was that movie oh. that got that got heavy uh, oh, advertisements during the Super Bowl a few years back. And then everybody watched it and was like, this shit is mid. <laughs> and it was false advertising. Um, so there's that. And then the writer Yo, is the same. And the writer is the same writer behind Falcon and the Winter Soldier. And like we said, that wasn't that well received. I wasn't a big fan of it. I liked some parts of it, but overall, I didn't feel it was a great project. Wow. So we ho hopefully, you know, it comes out good. We'll see in February if it doesn't get pushed back again. I always hate it. Um, he wrote on other... Empire, too? He was what? He wrote on Empire, too. That's wild. That's yeah, that's hey, that's range. That's range, baby. That's range. Yeah, that's probably one of his first roles. You know, you got to get in the door somehow. That's interesting. Um, but he wrote that. To... He wrote that scene where Juicy Smollett got put in the trash can. Yeah, you know, I've never seen an episode of Empire. Oh, After that episode, I stopped watching. <laughs> it was wild. Continue. I'm sorry. Oh, oh my. I'm sorry. No, you're good. You're that, good. that was a heat so, check. That was all it was. No, no comment. <laughs> I'm sorry, so Jones. Other, <laughs> it, <laughs> so strange, but go ahead. In other Marvel news, uh, we have the rumors have been confirmed, and they are true. Galactus is, is going to be in the Fantastic Four movie, and he's been cast. Ralph Ineson is going to play Galactus in the upcoming Fast, Fantastic Four movie, which I believe comes out July of 2025, so July of next year. Um, so I think this, the funny thing about this movie it has the opposite of momentum of this Captain America movie because <laughs> there was a while when we did not know when this movie would come out. It was just it was announced, then they gave it to the director, and then we didn't hear shit else about it for months upon months. Mm -hmm. And then, like I believe two episodes ago, we talked about it. Boom, popped up poster announcing the cast, a release date. I'm like, they must have got a really really strong script because. There are all systems go with this movie now. I think I think they're really excited about it. You can yes. tell by the way that they even announced the you know the fact that it was a picture and not sort of just you know regular cast pictures or anything yeah, like that. Yeah, very creative like, marketing. Yeah, Send a little bit of marketing low. I know a little. Yeah, look, that's very, that, very, very minuscule. That, that little, that little mini workshop I gave you the other night. Is yeah. what <laughs> that's an inside joke, Jones. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know nothing about it. <laughs> but it's the lovely. funny thing you about don't even Ralph understand. He's no, one that. of those guys. Like he's one of those guys that you see in movies and TV shows. Like I know that guy. I've seen him <laughs> and stuff. 
that's not the thing. Yeah, but you don't really know who he is. So he's one of those character actors. I think hopefully he can bring uh, Galactus to life in a cool way. Because I know a lot of people thought the rumors were saying it was going to be Javier Bardem was going to play him, who's a very good actor. He's the dude with the fucking cattle gun in No Country for Old Men. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. See, freebie uh, name really, these people that you you really know. Go ahead. Creepy guy. Really. Creepy. No, he's a great actor. No, you've seen him in movies. He's a. But but that's what I'm saying. Though. Like like, yeah. like you know these people, you just don't know their name. So when you see them in the airport or you walk past them in the a casino at Vegas, you be like, oh that's. Uh, you try to slide over to the thing and pull up IMBD like. Uh, Right, yeah, you know, just yeah. like just like a nigga, you know how it goes. <laughs> <laughs> What's that guy from that place? Remember, yeah. free short story, but uh, uh, long story, but short story. When we was at the program at um a, out in Cali, and we saw mm-hmm. Uncle Frank from Moesha, he was doing like a summer camp there in the cafeteria, but we didn't know what that nigga name was. <laughs> His Uncle real Frank. Name. It was just... <laughs> Uncle Frank. Uh, was crazy. Um, something, uh, something young. Yeah, Michael, Michael Young, Michael something Young. I don't know. He was a, he was a deadbeat ass dad because he let Ray J believe that he was some nigga's cousin and he was really their brother. So, Trash. So, <laughs> Trash. So, That's what I wanted to say to I, him. Why you let moms get kidnapped, Uncle Frank? Bitch ass nigga. Can't take care of his responsibilities as a man. <laughs> we don't need to know his name. Nigga, you Uncle Frank, the bitch ass Uncle <laughs> <laughs> so Giddy well, doesn't back on well, <laughs> I'm sorry, William so- Allen Young. William Allen Young. Uh yeah. Google Google is your friend. Right, right. Yeah. We didn't so, have it at Jones, that time. I don't know how much you've been able to read into this casting. Um what 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 are your thoughts on it? How do you how do you see it? Because when me and John, fun fact, me and Jones while we were in college. We went to go see Fantastic Four: Rise of the Silver Surfer in the theater, okay, and fucking hated that movie. I was about to say, I'm sorry. Yeah, came out. Yeah, so that bad. was remember, <laughs> low. That was when the Galactus was a giant cloud. Remember that bullshit? Yeah, <laughs> I was so furious, man. Like I've never so so real quick, real quick, because as as this stuff is rolling out, right. You know, and, and we joke offline about like my my dalliance into the comics, right? So I always explain mm-hmm. to Neezy, my wife, as far as like you know, the Avengers is all this and that, but they was the B side comic books back when we was right. coming up. It was X Men, Spider Man, and then everything else, right? Right. Avengers, Fantastic Four, they cool, but like it's only so many times that I can read about uh uh Reed Richards. It's, it's Reed. It's Reed, ain't it? Yeah, Reed Richards. Yeah. Him, Johnny Storm, Sue, and, and, and the thing. Like, it was like, all right. And then it probably was them powder blue uniforms that got me, where it's like, bro, if y'all, y'all can have some cool shit, then cool. But like, this little basic army camp shit that y'all got on, bro, like, I'm good. See, for me, That's it a was the opposite. That's a cartoon. For me, it was the I opposite. Understand. I love their uniforms. Um, they were pretty much my favorite superhero team as a kid. I liked them more but, than the X-Men and the Avengers. Damn. But you didn't like uh, Gambit? So you like Reed Richards over Gambit? Well, no. My favorite Fantastic Four was the Human Tor- Torch. I wasn't a big... I feel that. Over yeah, Gambit. Fantastic Four. It's a nigga that could catch a turn on fire and shoot fire. I'm a big man. And this nigga's like, I'm like Beavis, like fire. <laughs> fire. <laughs> 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 so the the, the thing about they the had that sport. '90s cartoon that was soft, cool too. That I, I, I was it a was big fan of that cartoon. That cartoon. Hey, hi, hi, yeah, in hi, hindsight, hi, it wasn't great, but I keep the song. The song was pretty cool. Um, yeah. Mm-hmm. But they, that but, Iron Man with the fucking mullet. <laughs> ah, yeah, I'm yeah, uh, Red Man. Well, no, the, the the little jet that used to break apart into four little pieces or whatever. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was the only cool shit. The robot. Yeah. Yep. The all right, thing about all right, the real Fantastic quick. Fantastic Four is that they're they're the first plant family of Marvel. Yeah, they're, okay. they're actually like yeah. the first. They're the first group. They're the first like big comic from I got Marvel as it cur- currently is. So that's why like they're always supposed to be like a protected and, and an important group of people. It's a legacy. With, it's a legacy brand. People. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and they operate as a family. And that's one, like one of the, the things that is, is what's supposed, like they're supposed to be a, a operating as a unit, you know, 
Um, so, and then like uh, later times, you know, they started to attach kid. You know, you know, Sue and Reed had kids, mm-hmm. and yeah, you know, th- th- they have some really interesting things about them. Um, and um, so, you know, there's there's stuff about them that's cool, but they they never really stood out that much to me. Again, like I was just enamored with, hey, they're on TV, they're in the cartoons. Yeah, like yeah. I, I'm I'm watching it, trying to support. Until you know the the all of the Fantastic Four films were just not it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that was that was early. one of the few times I fell asleep in the theater was watching the first Fantastic Four movie. That was now awesome. I was drunk, so that was part of it. But cool. and we went deep, like damn near half of my high school went to go see that movie, and that shit was ass. Qu- question, question: Who has the better jet, the X Men or the Fantastic Four? Excellent, easy. The Blackbird is definitely yeah, better. Easy. Just, just making sure. Even though it gets blown up every other week. Every other week. Like, easy. Every other week. But also, I got to say this about the Fantastic Four. One of the most, like, dopest, like, comic book moments I've read and, like, emotional moments that, like, got me, like, invested was a Fantastic Four comic. Like, Jones, you know what I'm talking about? The death of Johnny Storm. Damn. When he went into the negative zone, it was like, like you know, Drake keeps saying it's a twenty v one. This shit was like a million v one. <laughs> this nigga went into the to the negative zone by himself to kind of hold back Annihilus and his minions while the Fantastic Four closed the portal. And yeah, that shit was dope. That shit almost got a thug tear out of me. Uh, and, and the thing that there is is not often talked about is that the Fantastic Four has given us some really great characters. Mm-hmm. Uh, they they started out of Fantastic Four comic books: the Black Panther, Silver Surfer, Galactus. Like these are dope. Doc and Doctor Doom as a villain, they're all really dope characters, and they came out of Fantastic Four comics. You know what I'm saying? True so that, true that. The the, so- the fact that we haven't had a good film has been because people have not put in the right type of effort. There's not there's not been cohesion with the rest of the, the Marvel Universe. And the, uh, the way that this is rolling out... Let's I, call, let's it, call shows, it out what's to be called. Fox. It shows that there's... Because of Fox. Yeah, that, that's what I was going to say. Fox is yeah. trash. I don't know what they were thinking back in the day. Yeah, because of Fox. Wildin', wildin', wildin'. Just because Fox had some decent X-Men movies, they thought they could do whatever they want. But, but, but not to, to Jones's point, right? These are the early adaptation of comic book movies. They thought that they was in yeah. their bag and then they oh, we're going to be ahead of the curve, but they couldn't execute none of that shit. So now Correct. now we Correct. the fans who grew up with that shit had to endure bad films until Marvel shot out the gate like, "No, nah, we got y'all. It's cool." But then now they they're giving us this shit. We all said this on the MCU update. Y'all go back and listen to early episodes of Blurs. They was really breaking everything down. But like as we in all these phases and stuff, they're trying to basically get that get back. They're trying to go back and get right. their old X Men, old Fantastic Four, Want all their old properties, <laughs> and, and and trying to like re, re, re pivot and re swivel them so they're like, all right, they can bring them up to the standard of these recent movies that they've had. So I'm patient for that, but I, I don't like them going to the I'm gonna say the bottom of the barrel, but them going deep off into the comics, bringing all this other shit without addressing some of the the forefathers of the comic space for them, like. Like that's what's frustrating right. for me. Waiting for them to clean up Fox's mess uh, is uh, uh, short. <laughs> like right, right, right. So um, the the, the man, playbook for them going it. forward, yeah. yeah. The playbook, <laughs> the playbook for them going yeah, forward nigga. is going to be relying on the Fantastic Four and the X Men, and I think yeah. that's going to get them out of this funk that they're in. Even depending on who you talk to, I don't think it's as bad as people make it. It's out not. To be, it's but, not. But it just but, hasn't but, been hit after hit after hit like he used to. Yeah, mm-hmm. and having to having to start out and rely on the Avengers was that's not people. Th- oh, the, if the Avengers ain't dope, they ain't got ex. You know, if they if Tony ain't there, if Captain America and Thor ain't there, and it's not that. Do you know how big the Marvel Universe is? Yeah, like they've been going at this since the '60s, yo. Like they have so much they could pull from. You know, been like for people that say, "Oh yeah, the MCU is dead. The MCU is dead." There's so much to be done. Y'all haven't even seen. There's, there's not. It's not. It can't be done yet. It can never be done. Like they really got to do some terrible, bad decision after bad decision after bad decision. You know, in order for them to really topple all of this. You yeah. know, like if they can make a Lord of the Rings movie solely about Golem 
If they can make an Indiana Jones movie where that nigga's <laughs> like 75 years old, exactly. Uh, they can keep churning out Marvel movies and people should not. Be they got they got these that. monster movies, Planet of the Apes. Hey, you leave my monster verse alone. <laughs> Just make it. I did dip dip in uh and I, I saw the Apple uh, uh that Apple TV show Monarch. It's a solid show. Um, and um I saw the the last movie and I saw some of the the others that are connected to it. I was like, okay, I'm, I'm doing some stuff over here. It's still some wild stuff going on, but you know Oh, it doesn't make any it doesn't make upside a lick of down sense. and stuff. If you think critically <laughs> for more than two minutes, it's not gonna make any type of sense. But that doesn't matter. Turn your brain off and have fun. Got more and more movies, that's what you gotta do. Just turn your brain watch, off. Watch giant monkey versus giant lizard and have fun. <laughs> Just what is screaming for no reason. We no one knows what's going on with them. Everybody is guessing. Like all you have to say, all you really need to say to unravel everything is how is there earth inside of the earth? That doesn't make any fucking sense. It's liquid magma. <laughs> That's what it is. Yeah. That's what it is. It's liquid. It's hot liquid magma. <laughs> They could have said that in the movie, and I'd have been like, you know what? I'll buy it. It doesn't make sense, but I'll buy it. Yeah. Let's All see right. where this goes. <laughs> oh, as we said, right. Fantastic Four and X Men are going to carry the MCU flag going into the future. And speaking of that, we are a day away from the season finale of X Men '97. Man, let's Actually, go. Actually, the third episode. I guess it's a three-part finale. Yeah. And like how they used to do since- back in the day. We are we're actually episode... just just several hours. Uh, yeah, we are some hours away because I don't know. I don't know if I can wait till tomorrow. I don't know. I don't know. Right. Ooh, every time I hear that, I'm like, Ugh. hey, that's why it's in the intro. That, look, we was ahead of the curve. We was ahead of the curve. But, but ever since episode five, it's been fucking hit after hit after hit. This show is going fucking crazy. Yeah. yeah. I'm, yeah. Mm. And after yeah. every episode, I'm like, bro, you can't leave me like that. Yeah, you yeah. can't end like that. Yeah. <laughs> you don't love me yeah. no more. Why you ain't answering? Right, <laughs> right. I gotta I'm wait like, till next week. More. I need some more of that in my veins. Give right, me a needle that's, right that's, now. That's, I'll that's, inject that's, it. Not eating, <laughs> eating more of the mutes. Right, because right. y'all know me. Mutes in my life. <laughs> for you notice, I don't like the emo- the emotional roller coaster ride of shit. Right, like I don't like right. it. So you you know how hot I was when they when they killed my favorite X Men right? Spoiler alert: right, if you yes. ain't seen it or whatever, they killed Gambit, right? Okay, mm-hmm. some bullshit. More not me, right? But then from there, it just kept just getting progressively. It, I didn't even give a fuck that he yeah. was dead. Yeah. <laughs> like it's, it didn't yeah, matter. Just, this is so good. Then then fucking uh, two things that stood out to me. I don't know what episode everybody else saw stuff. When they shot the black bird out the sky for the fifteenth time in, 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 in ten episodes. Nigga, Scott Summers pulls the Porsche out, nigga. He Bro, came for like this. Nigga flew out of a Blackbird into a Porsche. How they can't that? catch oh, us. You can't hate on my nigga no more. That nigga you said, can't hate on gears. my nigga no more. About to hit these switches on these niggas. That nigga turned into Vin Diesel. Family. And, and then him came. He yoked that thing. Yo, nigga, him Jean Grey hopped out the whip doing superhero poses. Yeah, yeah. Summers' great family. Like, that's what it Bussin'. was. Like, it's the Summers family, man. That was my oh, takeaway from that. That, the that, that was my takeaway from that how dope and, and how deep the Summers family is, right? Like, I think Cable is probably, I'm adding him to my favorite X Men list because I ain't know he had all of those powers. Like, I ain't know that to right. the extent to what? like what he could do. He's like, I'm if telling he didn't you that too. Virus, nigga. He would probably be the top five most powerful mutant on the planet. I believe it. I believe mm-hmm. it. Oh, my, my other thing. So, in order to, to save them, because it was getting bad, like the zombie apocalypse was legit here. And I thought it was crazy because if they was to control us, we think it's going to be like how COVID did or something. No, they're going to activate us through our phones and, and meta, right. nigga. Like, like it's right. what's I'm really going on. Elon Musk. But, but here's the thing. So, when Magneto, I was like, wait, where's he going? They dropped him off at the North Pole and he bust a nut on the entire Earth, man. He just, mm, mm, asteroid mm, M. I mm, knew what he was doing. Mm, he bringing that mm, asteroid up. Mm, asteroid mm, M. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> He's not playing. But, but also, let's, let's talk about this. I don't know if we talked about it last episode. Rogue killed the guy. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> <Yeah>. cared. <laughs> yeah. Everyone was just like, oh, well, yeah. yeah. Yes. 
Yeah, and there was at least two mutants there that could have saved him, and they didn't do shit. <laughs> just like, Nightcrawler oh. and Gene could have did something. They didn't want to do shit. No. It's like Willy Wonka. We might have talked about this last episode, but I still want to bring it up. Again. No, like uh, it's like that Willy Wonka. Like, please, no, don't stop. <laughs> right. <laughs> And Wolverine was the only one who could tell the truth like it was. Like, we all wanted to do it. <laughs> right. just was the one who did. <laughs> right. For real. And shout out like, to X for X97 for doing the right thing by Wolverine and not overexposing him. Because when he got his moment with Nightcrawler, that shit made it all that much sweeter. Yes. And then they proceeded to fuck him up the next episode. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But... They, I, it was fair. On, they they spread the ball it, around. They spread the ball around a lot oh, this year. Sure. Everyone gets yeah. a moment yeah. to shine. Every, yeah. everybody's get, everybody can get it. Yeah. <laughs> what, but it's even funnier because it's just poor planning. Why put the nigga that's made out of metal on the team that's going to go fight the guy that can control metal? <laughs> right. I, 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 saw, I saw a meme where uh, 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 it, like it showed like Cyclops, all right, the blue team's going to go fight Magneto. I was like, Charles was like, wait a minute, Scott, are you sure that we should send Wolverine because of his book? I said. <laughs> <laughs> he knew. Wolverine. And then there was like a, a thought bubble of him kissing Gene, like uh, Gene kissing him. Uh, kissing Wolverine and was like, I said he's going with the right. blue team. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, so, so a recurring theme on here, you know, or at least for me anyway, is calling out the the dead beatness of Charles Xavier. Charles, bitch ass Charles. Who who's worse, Charles Xavier or or Charles uh, the dad on BMF? Because. <laughs> He, he did all I of this. I gotta say, Charles going. Xavier, because yeah. Charles from BMF didn't really ask for every all of this. He's just kind of working with what's yeah, happening understood, to him. Understood. But Charles, Charles is the one that's like, oh, I'll peace and unity. But on the other hand, he's erasing niggas' memories, yeah, making people forget bitch. they got brothers. Forget they have how his kids hate him. He's a manipulator. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He, his he, brother he, wants to kill him. His he, kids want to kill he him. He faked his own yeah. death so that he could go get married in outer space, and then shows right. up with the fucking yeah. black ranger, gold ranger, uh, white ranger suit on. Tells him, "I hope I'm not too late, nigga." Half the X Men dead, nigga. What the fuck you mean? You hope you're not too late? He was out there being yeah. horny too. He was trying to get it in yeah. with her. Your uh, people struggling. Say, he trying to. Was, and her people didn't man, like her. He's a man. He's a man. Her people. Right. Didn't li- they didn't like him. I'm bad. Yeah. They didn't like him. They like you need to break up with that dweeb. This and that. he don't even take care of his kids. No, but I love him. He's like, yeah, but I don't like the X Men. I don't give a damn about them. I'm here with y'all. His, his sister <laughs> called called not just Earth but our entire galaxy a ghetto. <laughs> See, and she's kind of right too. I can't even knock it. The world is a ghetto. Right, it is. It is. And then Charles Xavier gonna pull back up, talk about, and gonna dust the, the the dust off his little hoverboard thing. It's like, nigga, if you don't need my ex, that's 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 dust on my chair. Put a suit on and shit, nigga. If you don't get the it's fuck disgusting. out of here, I would have been like, I ain't coming, nigga. Fuck out of here. Yo, yo, X Men, we Magneto's X Men. Then uh, uh, Magneto did what everybody wanted him to do. He's like, bro, shut the fuck up, nigga. Like, <laughs> even had the white girl admit it. You know what? Magneto was right. Yep. And the, and, the, and the crazy thing is, though, is, I mean, we know kind of why it kind of explained why uh, Charles left to Mag- Magneto. And then he tries to explain it to Charles. But Charles, Charles, is, I mean, uh, like, come on. Like, why did you just say that thing? Like, why did you just say that before you left it? Yeah. Like, why didn't you just say, hey, you know, Gene, Scott, just go live your lives. I'm going to leave this to Magneto so he can do right by the world. And you know I'm gonna go off, and I'm gonna set you know uh, go off into the sunset too. You know what I'm saying? So we can all be happy and great. And he was like, "What are you talking about? Like, it wasn't gonna be this way. It right. wasn't gonna, like right. this was, all this was gonna happen anyway. And, and nigga, I was gonna right. come and, back anyway. And you telepathic slash telekinetic nigga, you didn't see that this was gonna happen this way, you bitch ass nigga. <laughs> yeah, now my son is fifty. My newborn son is fifty years old because he, because I'm I'm out here trying to live your dream. Right. This nigga is older than me and I'm his dad. Right. He up here trying to tell him what to do. Cable like, look, man, all that father son shit out the window. My gun is way bigger than yours. Right. Nigga. That's exactly the way he was talking to him. Like, he was like, hey, look, out of here. Look, hey, ain't no time for all that. We got we got to figure this out. Right. <clears throat> That's hilarious. And where's Bishop? I just thought about that. Where's the fucking Bishop? He didn't have enough juice to get there. They they said oh, yeah, they it said was a they, one way trip. You're right, one way trip. Yeah. And they said they lost him. They said he they lost him. Like he got lost and Cable just got dropped off somewhere. Like 
so much that's, for guardianship. I'm sorry though. So, I'm sorry. I would have told Bishop like if I'm if when let's take it all the way back to the beginning because I thought it was about to be all 15 of these niggas all season. Clearly, like by the, by episode two, half the niggas was dead. Yeah, half got knocked off. Um, Some are missing in action. Yeah. So so if I'm if I'm Cyclops when they was like, oh, this is the way it has to be. We got to take him in the future. Like, I'm going to the future. You Bishop, you stay here. If you just gonna go there and get lost, I'm gonna go to make sure that my son goes through everything that he needs to go through. It's not written right. for you to be. It is now. We changing it. Fuck yeah. out of here. Now, he, actually, yeah. he actually stormed out and said, I can't deal with this. It, it, it's <laughs> best, no, no, no. Especially because especially because right, we later found out. That Madeline was the mom and not Jean. So stay in there to be with Jean after Jean wasn't really fucking with you anyway. Go be with your son. She mad at him because he he feels shitty because his son got sent to the future. Like, nigga, I lost my son. Right. <laughs> that I thought was my with you. Is, right. My son is gone. <laughs> now I'm supposed to know you was a clone. Right. You didn't even but, uh, know that you was a clone, bitch. Exactly. <laughs> she still don't know when she was a clone and when she wasn't. Hey, so, uh, so talk about that a little bit, though, because Sinister was like, I can tell you when I switched you. Ah, tune he in next week. Games. <laughs> yeah, Sinister's a weirdo, man. He, loves he played that mind games. Blood. Yeah. yeah. He loves that summer's blood. So uh, something that... Uh, that's a freak-ass <laughs> nigga. That's who that yes, is. That's who that is. <laughs> he's a fan, he's a fan, he's a yeah. fan. Yeah. Uh, but... Um, but the, the, oh, something interesting, two two interesting things that I, I just realized, and I've you know been a fan for almost my whole life. Number one, uh, well, I, something I already knew. His wife, like if you like do the homework that Bo DeMeo gives you, uh, and go back to this episode of X Men uh, that's about basically the sinis- sinister when he became sinister back in the eighteen hundreds, back in the Jack the Ripper times. His wife was sick, and that's why he was doing all his freaky ass mm-hmm. stuff um he was like mr all, freeze all his, yeah all his scientific things he was trying to cure his wife his wife is actually an ancestor of of gene gray uh, oh okay okay um and so that's that's what sort of like mm-hmm. dr start, jones start knows to get him <laughs> start to get him real interested in like oh there's something special about that about that he reminds me of gold dust. You know what I'm saying? Like low key. Like, like God, he just has this real, you know, low key. That's yeah. Freaky That's thing going on. <laughs> the Can second also... thing. No, go real, ahead. Real go quick, ahead. real quick. No, go ahead. Thing, go ahead. You're good. The second thing is that uh Cable's name in in the comics uh is Nathan Christopher Summers. Uh his middle name is named after his uh you know, after Scott's father, Christopher Summers, yeah. Corsair. Uh, and um, I don't. And then they used to like in the comics. They used to like when he was a baby. They called him Christopher. They didn't call him Nathan. Mm. Uh, so it was later in the comics that they start calling him Nate Gray or you know or Nate Summers, like you know, and, and Nathan Summers. But that's so it's so weird that the Nate comes out when Sinister's real name is Nathaniel F. Essex. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And his mom is Madeline, who was a clone created by Sinister. Madeline Pryor. <laughs> so he's named he's named after his stepdaddy. <laughs> his stepdaddy. R- Roberto his, his Roberto step, Summers. His, his step <laughs> rat, rat, dad, granddaddy. Like it's that's such a weird. I've never noticed that. Like I was like Nathan, Nate, Nathaniel Essex. What the heck? But, and Cyclops, none the wiser. Oh, Nathan sounds like a cool name. Like. Yeah. Knowing that but, this but, man but but to is your point, to your life. that's wild. To your earlier take about Fantastic Four being a family and all that, I've always saw X Men. That's what I loved about it was yes, they function as like a makeshift family, but even the internal ties and you know what I'm saying the backstory, the lineage is all intertwined. Like if you you had to do a a, a, a DNA test on half the X Men to see like where they all track back to and who they related to, like a lineage test. Shit, Nightcrawler and Rogue are like. Brother and sister, sibling, half sister. Yeah. No, they have, they have. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Same mom, different dads. Yeah. It's crazy. Uh, uh, but I like how they acknowledge so, that because in the, uh, the older comics, they never they they talked never. about it, but they never really like did anything. They actually like acknowledged it and made it a thing this time around, which I thought was really cool. And I love the glow up from Storm. Her getting the black the black outfit. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah that that th- those <laughs> outfits, yo. Can we talk yeah. about that for a quick second? Like, yeah. so those oh, when they are went back real... to the eighties costumes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, those are the real dope eighties costumes that just it fits so well. Like, it just like. Wolverine could have kept his yellow one though. Like, hey, don't nobody miss that 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 PP Doodle uh, outfit that he had. <laughs> Brown See, and yellow. I could, I like both. I like the '90s Jim Lee yellow and blue, but I do like the '80s Chris Claremont uh, yellow and brown. Even though it does look like doo doo when uh, when you say it like doo-doo that. Doodle and PP, PP Boo Boo. I definitely prefer Cyclops in the '90s Jim Lee. Uh, shout out yeah. to the shout out to the Iotas. But anyway, um, damn. Like, look, you de- I'm about to get calls now. I already get the alphas calling me when I be saying shit. Now the iota's for sure about to be on my neck. What, all five of them? Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> where they at? Where they at? Uh, but um, knock anyway, on your door. Um, you think it's a package from UP? <laughs> right. right. I'm done. I'm done. This nigga stepping in on on your doorstep. Like, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> oh, you right. No, you come to my doorstep with that bullshit. Right. <laughs> I got more. Than, what's that little centaur shit, nigga? <laughs> Centaur meet the AR, nigga. <laughs> but uh, we love all of the D nine here. You know, we're respectful. Yeah, respect, and, respect. Know, I, yeah, I, I, I'm a member of, of one of the organizations. And, just just know, keep that shit all, over there and away from love. my doorstep. It's all love, it's all love till you knocking love. on yeah, my yeah, door. Yeah, yeah. we we kid, we kid because we love. What up, though? It's your boy Low Gross, also known as Big Papa Skeeto, and I'm here to let you know you just stepped into the Inaudiverse. That's right. We got four shows every week that we keeping y'all entertained with, man. We got the, the Music Impulse with Smiles. We got Bench Flicks and Chill with E-Ray. We got Let Me Book the Territory with A-Dub, J-Mo, B-A, and E-Ray. Then we got the Skeeters podcast with me and Neezy. And then we got the main show, the uh, Inaudible Ruckus, man. So y'all just know we got y'all surrounded, man. Every day of the week, you're going to have some drops from us, man. We got music that we're working on, man. We got other shows that's in development, man. So it's just exciting times here at the Inaudible Ruckus Network, man. So y'all make sure y'all check out these shows, man. IR presents the Inaudiverse. Yeah. But let's let's get to the main event of this past week's episode. Uh Wolverine fucked around and found out. Now he did get a good licking. He did get a good yeah. licking. But Magneto he stuck, was he like, stuck him. He stuck him. Yeah. Yeah. But Magneto was like, I'm tired of you. I've been ready to do this. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be like yeah, So look, yeah. so look, the, the the comic that it comes from, the comic that it comes from, actually uh, some like more wild stuff was happening. Like this was this was Magneto uh, doing a similar thing, like getting tired of like, he, you know, um, uh, of being sort of like this, uh, he's tired of the, the, the diplomacy. He's tired of, you know, trying to go back and forth with people. He was I tired of his own acolytes betrayed him and tried to kill him. Like, and he was like, you know what? It's, it's over. Like they it's, did this it's to going me. down for every, everybody can get it. And the thing is in the comic X-Men 25, uh, Wolverine, uh, like he's he, like Wolf, like Magneto's battling all the X Men, uh, and um, they do something similar. Right? Where they that was the it. name of the storyline, right? Fatal Attractions. Fatal Attractions, and they, mm-hmm. um, which is which is dope because Fatal Attraction, magnet magnets attract, you know, all that yep. stuff. Mm-hmm. But um, like they are, so they're on, uh, you know, uh, Asteroid M, and one of the team members actually is Quicksilver, his son. So his son Quicksilver is there. He's like, Dad, you know, chill out. You ain't, you ain't got to do this. And he's like, Magneto is so overboard at this point. He's like, you know what? I guess I got to kill my son because <laughs> I, I, I'm done with this. Like, I, y'all, you don't know what I've been through. You know what I'm saying? Like, I he guess was I just gotta, tired. So Wolverine, so Wolverine tries to protect Quicksilver and save Quicksilver. And Magneto basically says something similar. You know, I've been waiting for this. <laughs> I've been waiting for this, and now I ain't got to hold back, and it's it's over. Like, and that's what, and that's you know some of the words that he said in the in this episode. It's over. Like you step, you. I was waiting for you to step over this line. You fucked you around. Me. Now you about to find out. And all all this metal is gone off you. Okay, it's over. <laughs> and he yeah, ripped I, the adamantium I, off of his fucking skeleton. I didn't know what it was gonna look like, but I was like, damn, they yeah, went. He there. did that shit. And we we all knew that since kids, like that was the possibility if they go head up and 
And this is why I continue to be impressed about X Men ninety seven. They're not just going off of one storyline. Like yes, Bastion is the big bad of the season, but that's its own separate comic book line in the comics. There's that. There's the Fatal Attraction storyline, which they're doing. Mm -hmm. They're doing the the Summers family versus Sinister stuff. They did, you know, Storm and Forge in in uh, uh, in the Outback, or no, it wasn't the Outback. We were there somewhere. In the, <laughs> they was the, at a little the, oasis. Forge got them a little like, bit of that like chocolate. Somewhere. Yeah, like <laughs> flat South Dakota or North Dakota. Nigga Forge like said, "I hope you get your yeah. powers back, I think, baby." I, I think they were in Arizona. <laughs> they, yeah, they got the the New Mutant storyline with Sunspot and Jubilee. They're they're balancing a lot of different storylines, and but they're doing it so well they, though. Like, yes, they they haven't slipped. Yeah. They haven't slipped, and like you said earlier. Everyone's getting their chance to shine. No one's getting left out. Um, it's it's dope. It's, it's it's really dope. It's it's my favorite TV show right now. I've stopped paying attention to other stuff just to watch this. Um, I didn't even finish Invincible because I was watching this. I'm like behind on Invincible. Yeah, I never jumped back I, into I, Invincible. I feel, it was. Yeah. I will one day when I get bored. It's, it's wild. It's mm -hmm. good. It's still good. It's it's still yeah good yeah. Show. I'm but, not saying that. No no, 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 no I, I'm not either. But, but but what I'm saying is like, like like you said, X Men. I grew up with these people. I know, mm -hmm. and y'all help educate me every time I come on here. But as you can see, I know a little something about a little something. So I know enough to know what the fuck is going on every time I watch it. And even when they introduce somebody into it, I know who that person is. You know what I'm saying? I know about Sinister and him and his infatuation with the Summers family. I understand that, you know what I'm saying? Rogue and Nightcrawler's brother and sister and Jubilee. Like, I understand all of this shit. And it just even more. And I'm just like, yeah, every time. Yeah. They killed my favorite nigga. And three episodes later, I'm still locked in. Even though I'm, I don't, I'm not emotionally invested in none of the characters left. But I'm in this bitch. Yeah, because you saw about dropping it after that episode. That was that was me talking shit. That was that was that was uh, that was me uh, capping for the pod. Like I, just, I had to give a, a reaction. I'm not. I've, I've been waiting on this show to come back for the longest, so I'm ready for the movie to drop. I ain't leaving. And it's minute. not going nowhere anytime soon. I think that it's been renewed for like three seasons. It better be. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, okay, we know. I I want to prepare us and whoever's listening that uh, if we have been sort of jerked around by some of the uh cliffhangers i want to there's probably going to be a cliffhanger there's probably going to be whatever the culmination of this season is it's going to yeah. be dope i wouldn't um, be surprised but but there will also be a cliffhanger and they because you know they got to keep trailing us along uh and um I'm, I'm just ready for that because it could go in so many different directions and again like i remember i mentioned this in that earlier episode where we talked about the show um uh you know the the old show and the new show together like the beauty of this is that i have some you know like you're talking about love some predictability and some familiarity with the characters but at the same time they're interspersing so many different storylines uh that it's all new to me at the same time yeah and it's and it's not being done in a way that disrespects any of those original stories but it gives it to us in a new package that's dope it's fresh and exciting yeah. and engaging and um you know i'm I, I have some guesses as to what could drop down next especially with the that fatal attraction scene and in, in, in portion where you know wolverine rip, rips out that animanium about what's to come, the, the villain to come, but I don't know. I don't. They Apocalypse? could do it. They could not do it at, at the same time. But I'm. I'm just like. I'm ready. I'm like on my. I'm on the edge of my seat, literally. Like y'all confirm? For it. Is it is, is one of those guesses? Apocalypse? Because they didn't literally gave us everybody except that nigga. That's that's possi a possibility because they keep putting him in the intro. Mm -hmm. uh, he's, he, he's, he remains in the intro over and over again. I think as well. Um, you know, onslaught is a is a, is a possibility. Ah, and onslaught, yeah, I don't know if you yeah. know who onslaught is, but it's it's really interesting character that like is a direct result of what happens uh, in that uh, moment um, uh, at the end of the last episode. So I I don't know, but I'm 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 here for it. Onslaught is as, is as '90s comics as you could get, and that's not a compliment. <laughs> <laughs> the, the suit, like at the time, at the time, that suit was the dopest thing out. No, he it looks cool as fuck, but you read the comic and that shit was it kind of it kind of fizzled because it's it's sort of it's a weird concept, you know what I'm saying? Like it, you know, the people's consciousness, you know, piggybacking off of into other people's stuff and 
they connected that to the first appearance of Bishop in the comic books, and it was kind of like thrown in there just to retcon that. Um, but you know, like I feel like still it's uh however they do it they're gonna do it right i know however they do it i'm, I'm with it however they do it yeah, that'd <laughs> yeah, be I'm, hard. yeah. I'm just i forgot i'm about excited this. for 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 tomorrow for the finale i think it's gonna be amazing like you guys said and hopefully we don't have to wait long for the next season yeah, yeah. and hopefully marvel and disney can look at the impact the show has had and apply it to its live action movies and live action tv shows because this is the epitome of good storytelling, uh, sharp writing, great animation. You know, it's they, they, they could take a lot of notes from this now. Like it's like you had kind of mentioned, the showrunner no longer works on the project. We still don't know what happened with that, but he must he must have been something he, crazy to get fired because this shit is fire. Yeah, yeah, and, and 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 the fact that he's still. Loki promoting it, um, I, I guess because his name is, you know, still even though he's not, yeah, he's still continue crazy. on the show. His name is still attached to it, mm-hmm. so he is promoting it like he still worked there. But you know, they're mm-hmm. they if you heard, uh, they are, you know, they're trying to get into these award shows because it's it's so dope, and they submitted one of the episodes for the Emmys for the primetime Emmys, uh, and um, episode five actually the episode where. Um, Gambit dies, uh, and uh, I, you know, I don't know who the fuck is contending with that, but let's see him try because I, I know how you feel, though. I, I, know, know, I know, I know, I know, man. I know. Hey, oh, you that, know, they, I don't they, think they, he's gonna, I don't think he's gonna stay dead. I don't think so. Me either. either. Yeah. Me either. It's comic book. We all take it. Otherwise, mm-hmm. nigga, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. If they don't bring him, if they don't bring him back or like some, they're gonna lose half of the. the, the it was cool to ride this for a season out, but I'm not going into three seasons without watching my favorite niggas. You could bring Bishop back from the future. You could bring all these other new niggas in for, for the Morlocks. And all. I don't give a fuck about none of that shit, bro. Bring back Gambit or I'm walking. I really will walk in. It's like Transformers when they tried to fake kill Bumblebee. Nigga, I will get the fuck out here. Like, I'm, I'm done. Fuck this whole franchise. Fuck everything y'all stand for. I already don't fuck with Charles Xavier or Cyclops. Nothing keeping me here. You know what I'm saying? Hey, like, I will you, leave. If you, if you still don't like Cyclops after this season, I still don't. Problem. I told yeah. you because where was he hiding that Porsche? He just now decided to whip that bitch up. <laughs> you know, what? I don't even think that's him. I think that's Xavier because Xavier is rich on the low. I think Xavier yeah, put real. that in there. But 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 here's the thing. Here's the thing. I was expecting when he, I was if we all I had the black. Remember we talked about the toy episode on here. Mm-hmm. I had the Blackbird <laughs> toy. The, the Blackbird you toy. He, you thought he was going to have a Jeep? No, 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 no. It, it had the little Rover thing, so I knew that, but I was like, that would have been cool if it was a Porsche back then. Like, because the hey, front part turned right. into a uh, into a little car, the middle part turned into a command center, and the back part broke off and turned into a little missile launcher little thing. Like, it was a little glider. Hey, and, they, and they might be keeping continuity with the cart- the, the previous cartoon because uh, the, the old car that uh, Scott had, uh, uh, Wolverine, cut the top off. He did. He, he got him like, a convertible. <laughs> Tell Slim I made his car into a convertible. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. But then, no, because then he had the ruby red windshield on. It was a Cartier windshield, my nigga. Jeezy rapped about that shit how many years ago? Cartier windshield minus the windshield. That nigga. So, you know what? So he can shoot through that bitch. That's why. <laughs> Clearly. He literally, go ahead and take your glasses off on the inside, nigga, because I got the whole right. windshield, nigga. Nyong. That would have been hard if he would have did. No, nah, I would have. I would have gave respect on him for that. But you are right, free. I'm, I'm talking shit, but I'll give you credit. He's a family man, right? He's a family man. <laughs> he don't take man. shit from nobody. Wolverine could probably cut his ass in half, but he ain't gonna duck that smoke. He didn't take shit from that reporter either. He told that bitch to shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Mutants are talking. Shut the fuck up, bitch. What you, what you think you're, I'm about to it's say cause, to you? It's because you're normal. <laughs> I, but, but hey, no. Somebody online put the ether beat to that. I lost. It. But, but but no, like how Jones said about the Magneto oh. thing. Scott, they done sent my son into the future. I already got yelled at oh. for talking to my baby mama about my wife, who's not really my wife. I don't know which one is which. Yeah. I got this creepy demon my wife nigga hunting me. me this for be talking to my baby mama psychically. What the fuck am I supposed to yeah, do? He's like, man, fuck all this shit, man. Get the fuck out. Get the fuck out. <laughs> He did and like now, ice cream. Questions. Questions. Hey, and bitch, you were sitting on the skies. 
He, he, he pulled the ice cube from uh from uh straight out of country. He's like, what's your name? He's like, eat a dick, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> Get the fuck out. <laughs> and then beast act, beast act like she was gonna give him some ass. Right, something. he was it excited, man. Sentinel, sentinel. Right, you saw the little pink thing poking pink out thing. the blue fur. <laughs> He was like, in my lab coat? In my lab coat right now? And with, uh, with that, we're going to move on. <laughs> hey, y'all so, Hey, y'all keep bringing me on here. We run it on the topic now. Right. So, we're going <laughs> to... Y'all not going to invite me on the next episode. Tangent. I'm not being smooth with this tangent at all. But we're going <laughs> to change gears and talk about something that's been speculating on for the past couple weeks. But now it's been official. WrestleMania 41 is going to be in Las you, Vegas. Man, shout, report, out, shout out to the West Coast for, you know, having the vibes, WrestleMania. Put on vibes. Yeah. And like you said, it's going to be a, a goddamn vibe. So initial reports were saying that it was going to be in Minnesota at the Viking Stadium, uh, which I did not because that's a beautiful stadium. It is. is indoors because a lot of the complaints about this past WrestleMania yeah. in Philly was that it was cold because it was yeah. at the Eagle Stadium and that's outdoors. Yep. People's out so, there shivering. Because I know, I don't know why they thought April would suddenly be warm. It's still the East Coast. All right. Um, so Minnesota's got a beautiful stadium, indoor stadium. And I actually heard Minnesota, that area is a cool place to hang out at. Like, it there's is. a lot to do. I've, I've been there. I've, I've been there. Yeah. And I know, I, I sound angry as fuck. I didn't know there was that many black people out there until the George Floyd protest, RP. Yeah. I did not know that. Yeah. Now I will say because when I went out there, that stadium had just been built. Like going into that mm-hmm. season, that's all they talked about. Dude, oh, have you seen the stadium? Oh, the stadium, oh, the stadium, stadium. But then you see that motherfucker, and it's like this is a nice ass stadium. Yeah, I remember when they had the Super Bowl there, and uh, from what I was reading, like people are like, uh, we went out there for the Super Bowl, had a good ass time. Like, yeah, it was blown away. Like by there, there was more to do out there than what what you would think. Yeah. Uh, so that's, that's the Midwest but, in general, though. Free. That's how all the Midwest works. Yeah. Man. But, yeah, because I heard the same thing when they had a Super Bowl in Indianapolis. They are like, they're, nigga, we have fun out there. There's a lot to do in Indianapolis. Cleveland, Detroit, Pittsburgh, mm-hmm. all of that. Cincinnati, I've, I've, it's I've stuff to do. I've been in Indianapolis, and, um, yeah, it was, it was whatever. But I, maybe I just wasn't Hey, hey, right hey, hey, Jones, watch it now. A large portion of, I, I didn't mean to diss the, the, the Greek organization. You ain't going to diss the Midwest now. Hold on. <laughs> watch it's not about, watch I, wasn't, I wasn't talking about the, I wasn't talking about the Midwest. I was talking about Indianapolis. No, but, I got to uh, ride for the whole well, Midwest. Niggas from Gary pull up on you <laughs> with them sticks. <laughs> right. I'm just <laughs> saying, I'm, I'm just saying, I, I, I'm, I'm assuming that I didn't go there at the right time or with the right people. So, um, that, that matters. I'm, that does matter. So, yeah, man, I'm, 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 uh, but back to the matter. Yeah, yeah, let's not, let's not bury Um, the lead. So, I know people, some folks in Minnesota was salty, especially in their, I guess, their tourism or local government because they thought they were getting it. But Las Vegas swooped in and and took it. But I wouldn't be surprised if they get it the year after. Where, where where at in in Vegas? Is it the T Mobile Arena, MGM? No, the Legion Raider Stadium. Oh, shit. WrestleMania stadium shows. Okay. okay. Stadium shows for WrestleMania. So yeah, it's gonna be at Legion Stadium, <laughs> and that's just gonna be lit. Cause honestly, Minnesota is cool, but Vegas is Vegas. Yeah, it's WrestleMania Vegas, and man. Vegas just makes sense. It's Vegas, baby. Yeah, Vegas, baby. Woo! Love me some Vegas. Yeah, it's so, gonna. Yes, yeah, gonna be a time. I, I talked to my lovely wife, Christian, and we're gonna make that happen. So I don't know if I'm gonna actually go to the show because I feel like them tickets is gonna be. When, hey, hold on. Crazy. Hold, hold on, well, Free. Hold, hold on, hold on, Jones. I got I got a G checking for a minute. Cause wait, WrestleMania usually happens around my birthday, but there's also a more important birthday that happens around my birthday. So, so we I've already taken this into account. Okay, speaking, <laughs> speaking, of, speaking of, do we know? Do we know the uh, date? Yeah, it's April twentieth and twenty first. So it's the end. Of oh, April. Okay, okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah so so we gonna still be able to celebrate Miles and style. Okay. You know, that's my that's my April Fool's baby. I was about to so, I was about to say, man. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so I don't know if we're going to actually go to the show because them tickets is probably going to be ridiculous. But we're going to definitely go to Wale Mania. So I know uh, E-Ray spoken about Wale Mania. He's went when it was in Texas. Yeah. Me and Jones went when it was in L.A. a couple years ago. So, you know, for those who don't know, because I don't know if we've talked about it on this pod, uh, Wale Mania is just a big-ass party Wale throws, while the rapper Wale throws, to really celebrate wrestling, specifically Black wrestlers That's and their accomplishments. Yep. Yep. Uh, a lot of wrestlers, not just from WWE, but different promotions like AEW, Ring of Honor, New Japan. They uh, 
they um they come out they're all mingling you see all these different wrestlers mingle they're getting drunk they're partying so it's a fun time so i know they're gonna do it crazy for <laughs> all right hold on you get you're wrestled gonna right now <laughs> you you're gonna have to give me that mic brother <laughs> you're gonna have to oh, yeah. it doesn't like matter that you're doing it. a podcast yeah. <laughs> know your role and shut your damn mouth dad so if if they did it crazy in LA when we went, they're gonna do it crazier in Vegas. So I want to oh, sure. at least go to that. Yeah. So definitely. that should be fun. And my, the, the, uh, the tickets actually weren't that bad. I, you know, I, I bought t- you know when it was in LA, I bought tickets for me and my nephew, and it wasn't it wasn't that bad. And we and we didn't have bad seats either. Um, yeah, I mean, we, 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 uh, weren't, we weren't we weren't on the floor or nothing. You know. Yeah. Um, but we had a we had a good we had a good set of seats question for you yeah and i'm tempted to get to 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 do to go to one of the nights just to sit because when we sat we sat kind of up there it was still fun to be up there but we were to be there be in the building it was still a great time but um i definitely want to sit closer i i I was gonna ask though question so like say you go you would go one of the nights but if you weren't able to go one of the nights and you just went to wale mania then you what go back to the room and rent the the pay-per-view or do you find a place that's showing it how do you then indulge in in the event if you just go to so i haven't thought that far i'm sure vegas because vegas is going to take advantage of something like that they'll have watch parties somewhere on the strip or outside the strip we could go to or um because i have peacock so you could watch it it on you know bring my laptop or you know, whatever, put it on. Think about like, like in the hotel, they probably will be able to like, because they maybe in, in the hotels now you can stream on on their. You TV can sync your app like to the, the TV. Yep, stuff. Yep, yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. So yeah, and and, yeah. And, and and you know too that you know usually when now because WrestleMania is a whole weekend, not just a single day anymore. You know they usually have SmackDown. You know NXT, they and, do the Hall of know, Fame, WrestleMania, the Hall of Fame. Mm-hmm. There's WrestleMania Night One, there's Night Two. Like it's a, and then probably even, um, you know, yeah, Raw. Yeah. Like that whole stretch of time will probably be out in this Hi. vicinity. You know what I'm saying? So Hi. even if you get, even if even if you go to the SmackDown or the, uh, I mean, we could probably look this up, like soon and, and actually so, kind of right right out. yeah I got but so i can already guess what it's going to be raw smackdown and nxt are going to be at t-mobile arena and wrestlemania is going to be at Allegiant Legion. stadium yeah yeah that's probably how that's what i was it. asking because t-mobile is like a big attract like that's where a yes. lot of the bigger venues happen mm-hmm. like up in there when vegas eventually gets an nba team that's probably where they're gonna play eventually it's gonna happen soon man they about to move yeah. the, they about to move the clippers again or some shit like <laughs> Oh no, that owner too rich. He's keeping them in LA. That owner is so Steve Ballmer is so rich he can buy like twenty five of the other owners out if he wants. Just own half the NBA, like right, right. You know. Um, no, that would be cool though. I, I think that would be cool. I was, yeah, yeah I, I'm, I'm excited about it. You know, you know, you don't. I don't need a reason to go to Vegas, but it's always good to have one. Right. What? So y'all know I always got to share my my. I don't watch wrestling no more, even though like it's the it's. The hype as it's ever been but i had a question for y'all right because i always tell y'all about the draft i said this on let me book the territory i said this i probably on here before too i can't remember um but another reason that made me stop watching wrestling or made me look at it funny right because kane was always my favorite wrestler right mm. they talking about something like I, I leave kane had the, the the tank top which i was like all right how you got a tank top my nigga that don't even you know what i'm saying you were supposed to be burned Your body's supposed to be burned you feel me okay i i I understood that was all just made up okay whatever right then they said that he wore a mask and his that his hair was part of his mask or whatever that was real hair i'm sorry but then now then then i went away and then i came back and i looked kane was bald head like bald with a faded hairline and he had a gut and they tried to tell me that this was the same kane was that the same kane or were they lying yeah. because that, same how guy. how same how same guy the whole time how He's he's old now. No, yeah, no, no. I, I get that, but like from that time to that time, it's like I, I'm two years or something. I don't know. Remember when I stopped? Exactly when I stopped watching this shit. I stopped. I come back. He got a gut. That didn't look things, like that. Looked like things, a different nigga. Things have significantly accelerated. Like if it, like the 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 last time I watched wrestling before I started watching again in 2020, I had not watched wrestling for a good, uh, you know, ten. 15 no it was more like like 13 14 so he years. had a wig on 
<laughs> he really back in the no, day he had a wig. It was his own hair. Like back yeah. when he had the mask and his hair was brownish, that was his hair. Yes. Yeah. But as he got older, uh, um, the he wore like a mask with the hair connected to it, so it was like a wig connected to the mask. I didn't believe that. I didn't believe mm-hmm. that. The thing is, the thing that'll really that's blow crazy. your mind. That's crazy. The thing, the thing that'll really blow your mind Fuck is if I if I if I show you the characters he was before he was Kane. DDS Yankum and and all of that other shit. Yeah, no, yeah. no, I know I, about Kane I know about all of that. Undertaker and the Kane character saved his career. Oh no, I, I'm aware of that. I knew all of, mm-hmm. of what he was before then, but to see to turn around and see it a different uh, I was done. I was out of there. I was like, this is not Kane. Who was this man? Fuck this man. <laughs> and then they tried to explain why he wasn't burned is that, oh, it was the psychological stress. Yeah, yeah. Made him think yeah. he was burned. Fuck out of here. I'm out. I'm out. I'm done. He he started he start getting hot, man. Like, you know, wearing that outfit with anyone. That's wanted, what I figured. He wanted, show, he wanted to show the pythons. You know what I'm saying? That's He, he wanted to. Okay. He and, and obviously to, to he wanted to eat a me. little bit more, too, and, because he had a gut. We're talking gut, gut, though. Like, I eat, and that I'm, was around I'm, the time when WWE started their film division and he started in a couple horror remember those cheap horror movies he was in see no evil yeah so yeah. i yeah i think he wanted to kind of market his face a little more too. like y'all need okay. to see who i am okay and then now look at him he's the mayor of a fucking podunk town in tennessee and he's fucking a trumper so very very interesting sitch <laughs> very interesting sitch but uh, right right but yeah, you know, like I, I look at I look at shot like the fact that Shawn Michaels is bald that really threw me, um, and Shawn Michaels and Triple H are both bald, uh, and yeah, our I, faves I are getting old, man. Adjust. Our our faves are getting old. No, but but they they bald now. He I I click away for a couple years and I come back and he looks completely different. Like he wasn't even the same dude. Like. <laughs> at all he was just it's a tall dude with hair and then i was a tall bald dude with a gut make it make sense hey he probably felt he put in the work you know i'm chill for a little bit and it's probably hard to stay in that good shape when you're that big and you on the road for that long true that true that true that yeah but yeah man so you know we, we're we're gonna wind it down a little bit i wanted to close with this because we've talked about this on multiple shows across the Inaudible Records Network. But it looks like the epic beef between Kendrick Lamar and Drake is <laughs> over. At Man. least for now. You know, they both the probably got projects the coming out. Is, the back and forth is over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't have to check our phones every day, every minute, refreshing. <laughs> Man, to see if that was exhausting. Dropping. That was exhausting. Man, that fun. weekend, that weekend's going down in history. Yeah. <laughs> That's going down in hip hop history. That shit was nuts. Who, who do you, who do you, we know what the society said, but who do y'all have uh, as the winner of this? I got Kendrick winning, but I'm not going crazy like some people are and say, oh, he won in a sweep. It it, yeah, it wasn't nine. by a landslide. Drake, Drake, Drake had a couple joints throughout this exchange, but Kendrick's just his, his, his planning ability, his, his he I slept on that part. Own, I slept on yeah, that part. He, he beat Drake, he beat Drake at his own game. Uh, and it worked to perfection. So I think that's why I think Kendrick got, and he beat in multiple ways. He made the introspective joints. He made the club banger. He made just the the scathing diss. Like he he dissed him in multiple. He, he different stood ways. he stood on his shit too. With like meet the grams. He like took this nigga to therapy. Yeah. Like he brought him into his right. world. Like right psychologically took him apart. Yeah. Yeah. But, but here's my thing though. Like he did win. I, I'll give him that. But Drake still held his ground. I feel like, like it wasn't like oh, yeah. they just they just moved. It, especially because you got to think it really was a bunch of niggas at Drake's neck at the same time. You understand what right, I'm right, saying? Right. It was it was it was one on one, but everybody was still standing there, still like swiping at. He was still in a hostile situation. He yeah, put his the, back the to the wall threat, and started the punching. The main threat was Kendrick, but people were taking little pot shots at him too. Yeah, so, he, so yeah, in the I middle of a boxing with him, I you got to turn around and hit this nigga, then come back and then hit yeah. this. He got. I jumped. give much respect to both parties involved because they both brought it at a time where people, uh, J. Where, Cole. Where people <laughs> are losing interest in hip hop. Oh. Yeah, people are losing. The, the, the thing for me is that you know uh, I understand having other people taking shots at you, but I, I feel like you know, try, you know, anytime you think about war, a war that that's battled on multiple fronts is always going to be a hard fought war. Mm-hmm. But like, I felt like he should have had more. The if, if if you're really seeing Kendrick as someone who you know has 
has standing and you know is not really to be messed with like he should have had like song you know more efforts like directed just at him yeah instead, instead of spreading of using it around some of his other songs to like oh i'm gonna i'm gonna take a shot at all these other people too while yeah. i'm on this one song you know uh, and, and it and i get that it doesn't get feel that. it doesn't hit as hard as kendrick who is just like oh this no this is just about you like right. you, I don't like you. For, 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 you. for two verses and a yeah. hook, I'm aiming this shit at you. Where you only gave me half of a second verse to, to, and gave me a couple, gave me eight bars. I gave you the whole right. like sixteen. Like, I gave you thirty two bars. Like, right. so I feel that. That's why Drake lost. I think Drake underestimated Kendrick. I don't think he took Kendrick seriously. We see, remember the AI track, how he was saying, "Nah, nah, nah." You following through, waiting for him to respond, egging him on to respond. Yeah. And he got what he wanted. <laughs> and I don't think you're prepared. And I don't understand why he treated it like that. I don't, I don't understand. It was, it was arrogant. Just p- pure disillusionment it had to be because, like, I feel like, yes, Drake has uh, a lot of hits under his belt. Um, and he has he has some, some battles where he has, you know, thrown a couple haymakers at some people. Mm-hmm. But, like, I feel like he... He should have never felt like I don't know. He shouldn't I, have never felt I, that comfortable. It, it, it wasn't. Yeah, a, right. yeah, 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 yeah. But but I will say this to, about Drake as well. Nine times out of ten, family matters ends a beef. Yeah, he was just fucking with someone. <laughs> this was someone on the lower tier yeah, that yeah. would have killed yeah, them for sure. Yes. But 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 okay. Question for y'all then, right? Because after family matters, then we then we got not like us, right? No, after Family yeah. Matters, it was Meet the Grams, and then the next day it was not like us. Okay, then Drake comes back with a heart part six. Do y'all think that if he would have had a harder response and, st- and kept it going, I understand he's exhausted too, but no, nah, nigga, but like if he would have came with a harder punch, do you think that like that would have changed anything or he couldn't come back from not like us? I don't think it would have changed much because if it was a harder punch, I think Kendrick would have responded again and it would have just been. It would, we would have been another week yeah. of this shit, yeah. Yeah, because the hard part six, it's <laughs> yeah. funny because the hard part six is Drake's best rapping throughout this whole exchange. But as he's rapping like, oh, I'm not a pedophile. Oh, I plan. He, he's, trying he's trying to it's, clean his image up. He's trying to clean his image up. He was waving the right flag. <laughs> he was rapping really good about waving the white flag. Pretty yeah. Much. yeah. But let me ask you this because we're almost done. How do y'all feel about the the kind of personal shots, the, the, the quote unquote tea being spilled? How do y'all feel about that? Because I know for some people it rubbed them the wrong way. You know, I, for me, I think that uh, it is kind of uh, ridiculous how. Uh, I, I guess I'm more. I'm. 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 I'm taking my uh, my free approach because I'm more mad at the uh, the fans of of Drake than I am even really mad about Drake because people are like, oh yeah, Drake is spitting facts and blah blah blah. It's like. And and, and 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 Kendrick has no proof. It's like, but Drake is That's saying good. stuff without proof too. Neither right. one of them have proof. I think right. they're both. There's lying, no, honestly. there's no proof. There's no proof on either, other than the things that we can obviously see. Like, like the fact that Kendrick's girl was in fact not following him, but was following Dave Free. See, That's to a me, thing, that's but that's it's like. That but, but I feel you. That Jones is right, though. That, Jones is right. That's not yeah, proof. That doesn't mean that. That's you didn't catch perfect. them holding hands, walking out of Nobu, like, like yeah. you know what I'm saying. Now, where Drake might be telling the truth that they're not together anymore, yeah. But him beating her and the, one of the babies being day freeze, that I don't. You gonna have to show embellishments, proof. yeah. Just like Kenry about to show proof that that daughter, the, Drake the got mysterious a daughter, daughter. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, exactly the reason people are clinging on to these allegations more of Drake is that he kind of has a history of being a creep regarding young women. Yes. Yep. There's a documented history. <laughs> yes. And also in a beef, sometimes it's not even about the 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 hundred percent facts. Yeah, it's lies. about it's, 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 it's about what it's about what sounds better. Okay, yeah. let's, let's not let's not act terrible. like Tupac didn't start a song off by saying that's why I F Joe B. Right. You feel and me? No, and, and nothing ever happened. Since this day says that never happened. <laughs> Hey, Nas said uh, Rockefeller died of AIDS when that was in his, his chapter. Like, no, he didn't. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he just was, that's how, that shit sounded good, though. Right. <laughs> oh, damn, he did it? 
not that I know. Not unless he knows some secret Illuminati shit. But, but, but uh, Nas is, is another one of those rappers who, who's known for lying and embellishing shit. <laughs> <laughs> Mafioso reps. Like, remember when he said Niger was supposed to be short for nigger or something? And everyone was like, like nah, nah, that's not it, sir. <laughs> I don't know what book you read that in, sir, but he thought he could yeah. get that. He didn't know he we just, was going to go research it. He thought we just dumb niggas on the corner. Be, he just be saying stuff. He but read it, it in the good. Goof- he read it in the Koofy Journal Volume oh, 5 from his local bodega. The, 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 the Koofy Quarterly, you know what I'm right. saying? But- so I know we got I know we leave it, but couple real quick, real quick, real quick. The the sub uh supplemental beefs that jumped off from this. Now we got Rick Ross and game going at it. We still got the weekend and his crew shooting back and forth at niggas uh from OVO. We got 50 beefing with Meek Mill now. Like, what's going on? Like I just know Game needs to sit his ass down somewhere because, bro, because number one, it looked like he was slow key, like without saying it, supporting Drake. Because I think Game is still salty. He didn't get on that Super Bowl stage. Oh, for so sure, for sure. That's his yeah. way of oh, kind of acting absolutely. out. Absolutely, yeah. yeah, absolutely. Even though he's supposed absolutely. to be taking up for the West. Right, right, right. And Kendrick, you can really Game was the first one to put Kendrick on he before was. Drake. He was, yeah. So uh, that's supposed to be your little homie, but you know, I digress. Um. Also, Questlove, shut the fuck up, yeah, bro. Yeah. Real talk, yo. Please, Please shut the like, fuck up. You're embarrassing us. Video, you're embarrassing like, us. No, bro, shut up, yo. You're supposed to be talk better about. than this. Where's, yeah. where's this Black Thought? Aaron was the one preaching peach a couple weeks ago. Now, look, you got Aaron wild, wild up. Right. I'm like, what was that? Like, what are you talking about, yo? Like, you're going to say some blasphemy against hit him up? Like, what are you talking about? Like, I'm not even talking about that. I'm talking about what he said about hip hop. Both, both. Both. All of it. Like, no, I didn't even hear just, what he said about Tupac. It was, he said some wild stuff. It was stupid. He, he was trying to say that, like, you, oh, uh, uh, because, you know, like, Tupac's hit him up really doesn't really count. Right, because of the beat that it's on, it sounds like something that is a lullaby. If you, yeah, yeah, if you play Luther Vandross, could have sang on the hit him up beat. Like, what are you you talking about? Like, shut up. What? Like, like, shut the fuck up. (laughs) You're supposed to be better than that. Just when it comes to hip hop, but some of these niggas do seem like they're out of touch. Quest Love's supposed to be better than that, though. Like, that's that's the thing that you find. He'd be around, he's he's been around Jimmy Fallon too much, man. Right, right. He he heard heard that talking with his white friends at the bar and thought that that was was something he could bring into. He's been the token black guy in all these white spaces for too long. He needs to come back. He needs to go, he needs to go stand outside of a bodega and and, and smell the air. Go back to Philly, hang out with the Akis. Yeah. Smell that gun powder and cocaine residue in the air man get that in your yeah. lungs yeah. yeah yeah get a whiff of that yeah you and him and meek mill because yeah meek mill just loves to be a meme like i don't understand but i digress I, that's oh, a combo for yeah, another yeah. time next oh, time on blurs uh, in the truck <laughs> uh uh jones, tell people, on <laughs> never mind right jones tell the people where they can find you as is usual uh on twitter uh you know i'm not calling it x uh it's Dr. Jones, Dr. Doomsday 0606. Uh, and uh, on the tickety talks, uh, it's Dr. Jones knows. Um, and uh, stay away from my Instagram. <laughs> and Lo, tell the people where they can find you. Uh, y'all can follow me at uh, Skeet Gross. On Instagram, follow the Inaudible Ruckus page at Inaudible Ruckus underscore podcast. Also, man, go stream my EP on Apple Music, Spotify, YouTube, Shadow Work demos. You know what I'm saying? I got my little rapper uh, rapper hands going. So in the midst of this beef, I, I dropped a project. You know what I'm saying? Go check that shit out. Shadow Work demos by Skeet Gross. Dollar signs for all the S's. And you can find your boy on Instagram at Freeluminati on twitter at despicable underscore free um you can catch me on an audible records we're dropping every other friday now we're on a bi-weekly schedule uh well no we record every other friday we drop every other saturday yeah so we're on a bi-weekly schedule now um you know pop some merch from the inaudible records shop inaudible records.com slash shop buy your inaudible records merch buy your doors in a trap merch buy your music impulse merch Check out all our shows in Audible Ruckus, Music Impulse, Blurs in the Trap, Meet the Skeeters coming back. Yeah, yeah, we working on it. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so, you know, shout out to the network, shout out to the affiliates. Um, yeah. The affiliates, we will, <laughs> we will catch y'all on the next one, man. Peace. You.